Hey y'all, it's me, Bashar C. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I went and picked up a Starbucks drink and a cheese Danish. I hate when cars like hold their brakes and don't turn. Oh shoot, there's the police. I'm not afraid, but like, you know how every time the police comes next to you, it's just like, oh shoot, there's the police. I'm not even speeding out. I'm actually going under the speed limit. So I'm headed to my school to um, go ahead and take down some stuff. I I didn't bring anything with me. Like, I didn't bring any bags or anything. Like, I don't know. I feel like overwhelmed because I've never taken down a classroom by myself. I've always had help and I never have done it in a couple hours. It's always taken me like days to complete. And we only have from nine to three to take it down or something like that. But of course, I couldn't wake up this morning. Um, I stay up really late, like my sleep schedule is all off. So I stay up really late and so I had a really hard time waking up this morning. So I was just like, whatever. So now I'm headed to my mom's house to pick up this dolly to um, so I can wheel like my crates and stuff out. Hopefully everything fits in these crates. That's all I'm just hoping. All right, so while I'm driving, I just wanted to share like a quick little story of like encouragement to you. So if you're trying to start a business or you're trying to like grow your channel or grow your um, Instagram or whatever, I'm not saying I have the largest followings. I'm not saying that at all. Cause I don't, I have like 2000 something subscribers, not subscribers, 2000 and something um, people on Instagram and about a, almost 2000 on um, YouTube. I'm not famous at all, by all means. However, the Shade Room contacted me contacted me to be featured on um, for Teacher Appreciation Week. So I just got to think. I'm like, how did they find little old me from Polk County, Florida? I'm like, what made them contact me and all this stuff? And that just goes to show you when you think people aren't watching you, they are. So always put your best foot forward. Always make sure you're. Um, presentable and things like that because if I probably had naked pictures down my Instagram feed and then said I was a teacher I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have wanted to contact me but I I present myself in a way that's not raunchy or anything like that just because I always feel like somebody is watching and that just goes to prove that somebody is always watching so don't be discouraged if you think people don't follow you or not watching you or whatever use your hashtags sis. don't let nobody tell you that you're using too much hashtags let me sit right here for a second. Maybe y'all can see. So I'm back in my classroom. I'm, I'm about to take down some things off my wall. They pretty much did the majority of it for me. I don't think it's gonna take me that long to clear up out of here. Um, I say about an hour and a half and I'll be finished with everything because I'm gonna sort things out when I get home. I don't need to, um, I don't think I'm gonna have this theme next year if we're back in the classroom. So I really don't care about putting it in a specific, um, Order. I'm just ready to get all this stuff out of here and head back to my house. So, so casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving.
up my room is clear all the cabinets are empty so now i just have to make my trips to the car and pack everything that i need to put in the um crates put them in the crates and carry them to the car and yeah so y'all i'm so proud of myself i packed up my classroom in under three hours that has never happened before granted i have had help from my students so it seemed like it was taking a little bit slower because i didn't want to just rip down the whole classroom while they're there um but three hours under three hours i'm proud of myself i got there at 11 and i left at um 245 ish uh, i meant not 245 ish 145 ish so yeah it's not even two o'clock yet i'm so proud of myself so I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods and Burlington. So I don't know who Burlington thinks they are, but you literally the line was wrapped around the store, like almost okay so here is the cash registers so the line went like in a big and almost back to the cash register like no not me so now i need to figure out what i want to eat i need to see if i want to stop by my parents house and just hang out because my husband he's about to go to work so he's not even home What sounds good to eat? Zaxby's? Zaxby's sounds good to me. So I have my Zaxby's. I'm about to eat. They only give you a little bit of fries. Maybe that's all I need. Like when I eat my Hello Fresh meals, they don't give you a lot. And I'm always full. Sometimes I want seconds, but that's just me being greedy. I'm always full, so. When I was in college, my friend Kaya, she taught me, like, if you don't want to eat it, that's my daddy. He makes a lot of noise, y'all. Um, but she taught me that eat off of a saucer plate because it's smaller. Mm-mm, move. You got Twinkies. I'm gonna get it. I'm a photo black. I'm a photo, what do we call it? Photo bomb? Bomb your damn thing. I don't even have to watch yourself eat. It's a video. How your mama knew? <laughs> okay. So I hope that y'all can see me well. If y'all can't, I'm gonna try to edit it. Edit it so that y'all can. But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Home Goods today. Okay, so first off, I bought this reef. I like it. it. It will do the job for spring. Like, I normally like to put like a letter on our reef, but at Hobby Lobby, they didn't have the letter that I wanted. Um, and this was only $15. It was regularly $40. So for $15 to put on my door and I don't have to make anything, yeah. I have one on the front door already, but like I said, I like to put our initial, or our last name initial on it. And yeah, I don't have a initial this year so next i got these two they're called shabby chic candles but i just want to put them on like my um end tape are these end tables end tables i don't know what they're called they actually smell but they're not real candles they're battery operated double a Ooh, i just had some double a batteries hold on guys yay y'all I had double A batteries in my classroom and I didn't even know I was gonna go here and buy anything with double A. I just bought these for the looks. Um, I thought they were kind of cute to just set on like your end table, maybe like in the kitchen somewhere. I don't know, just to have. Next, I got some of this. What do you call this? I guess you would call this potpourri. Anyways, I have this bowl underneath my um, kitchen table and I'm gonna put this in there so I guess I can do it now. I don't think I like that looks like junk it smells like junk too 
Let's see how I like it. I don't know. All right, next, this was like a random find. I did not want this. So I picked up this little, I don't even know what you call this. My mom had one as I was a, like growing up as a kid. Um, you put your like spoons here, like when you're cooking, so you don't put them all, like on the countertops or like on the stove. You put them on this so they don't burn. What is this called though? I don't know, spoon holder. Next, I bought this bowl thing, but I think I'm gonna take it back. Um, I bought this to put my utensils in. All right, let me show you. Okay, hopefully you can see me, but I bought this to put these in, but I don't think I'm 100% sold on this. I don't think I like it in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't think I like it. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't add anything to the kitchen. I think I want something a little bit, maybe more mirrored or something. But I know I don't want this plastic thing, so I'm gonna throw this away because this isn't even cute. All right, I think this is the last thing I got from Home Goods. I bought a new broom set. I like these types of brooms because they come with the, the dustpan and you don't have to like bend over. The broom is a little bit short, um, but that's okay. I don't mind the broom being short. I just don't want to bend over when I have to sweep and stuff. It gives my back such pain, so. All right, guys, this is gonna conclude the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram, more than I am on any other social media. Instagram is my jam and you'll find me on Instagram. So my Instagram will be linked down below. So go ahead and give me a follow. Bye, see you later.